So we're here to talk about Lead Presso. Bot Academy is doing a really cool partnership with Lead Presso where we're going to get free leads. So as a student of Bot Academy, you're going to get 750 free leads over the course of three months. Um, and as if, if you're not a current student but you're in our community, you'll still get 25 free leads. And when we say leads, these are really awesome leads that are verified on Facebook. We're gonna learn how you can find out information about who these local businesses are, like what they're doing on Facebook, are they active? And we'll even be able to get a messenger link. And Luca built this awesome platform and he's gonna talk to us about how it works and how we can get these awesome leads to be able to sell chatbot services to. And Steven is here today to help us ask the questions that everybody wants to know. So Yeah, because <laughs> as many of you know, I, I like to focus on these partnerships to send leads my way. Leads, lead generation is, is it's hard. So I want to get help too. I want to ask questions. I want to get in right here with Luca and see, see how, to, how to do this and be even more successful. Cool. So, Luke, are you going to kick it off with uh, some some slides and some some learning? Yeah, correctly. And then, uh, yeah, we'll start with the slides, and then we'll go, you know, right into the to the app, you know, to do the the real thing, you know. All right. So you'll you'll teach us some stuff, and then um, we're going to actually see the software in action. And uh, yes, Yvonne, it will be recorded. Okay, so yeah, let's start. How can we find best leads to sell them chatbots while we enjoy? A cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, I love that. Cool. Okay. So uh, let me just shortly introduce myself. So yeah, uh, I'm Luca Pekavar from Litpresso. I started my, you know, online, you know, building stuff online in, I don't know, 2007. Start like a local web development agency, then moved to e-commerce. Then, uh, you know, when um, Facebook apps came around, uh, we started building, you know, kind of massive apps for, uh, uh, you know, big businesses. And then I started, you know, moving from there to software as a service, uh, created uh, a few apps on, you know, on a sub subscription basis, uh, where I also worked uh, a lot with, uh, with um, marketing agencies, you know, local agencies. And then, you know, the, idea for lead press came out because uh, you know the one of the major um, problems of any agency is how to get leads and you know we were trying to <laughs> to find a way uh, to build to build something that not only gives you you know a, a list of uh, potential prospects but also uh, that kind of helps you uh, to navigate or to identify the right prospects that you want to target so I'll explain everything um, in this presentation and then, you know, we'll go, we'll go uh, also in the app. That's awesome. Uh, and it's something Luke and I were talking about. I know many of the people watching will have been on the last Facebook Live that Nick and I did, where the number one question is how to get more clients. So what perfect timing, Luca, for you to come in and share with us. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm also happy to, you know, to be here and to get all the support from Andrew. Uh, and also from everyone uh, in this group also, uh, you know, a, a while ago I, I uh, posted in this group, uh, I think it was in November, uh, before we even, you know, had the final version of, of Lead Press. So if uh, people would be interested in stuff like that and, you know, the, the response was really overwhelming and, you know, it was a gr great motivation for us to, you know, uh, work harder and you know ship the product as soon as possible so i'm happy and thrilled to announce it today with all with right you. that's great thank so, you yeah. so yeah lead press so is uh, you know smart prospecting tool for uh, for uh, digital agencies and bot agencies and um, how can lead press uh, helps your agency uh, it can save you time you know so you you will find uh, potential leads much quicker. Uh, it will, uh, uh, you will, you will sell more, you know, to, to write leads. And at the end of the day, you will grow your agency. Yes. So 
yes, that, that's what we all, <laughs> all want, right? Yeah. Uh, save time, uh, earn money and grow. <laughs> there are things I want to buy, Luca, you know? <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's move forward. I mean, I have uh, I have three case studies here uh, that I wanted to talk about uh, today with you. So Thanks. one is going local. Uh, here I'm gonna show you how uh, you can use Leadpresso to find uh, leads in your local area and how to contact them uh, using different uh, different methods that we provide right inside Leadpresso. And then the, the next case study is gonna be you know going global. How you can use uh, all the benefits of lead presser if you want to sell abroad or if you want to sell nationwide and then I'm gonna show you some smart things that um, and smart features that uh, you can use uh, in lead presser uh, that are maybe right now already integrated or are coming and will be available in maybe some next week and some in, in March so uh, Let's start with the with the first uh, with the first case study going local. So and so here we're gonna we're gonna target uh, Atlanta. Uh, we're gonna select dentists, uh, and the objective is gonna be increase social reviews. Uh, the method, uh, the outreach method, is gonna be Messenger. So uh, let's jump into the lead presser. Can you see it? Can you yep. see it? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. So here uh, we have a search area. Uh, we'll select United States as a country, and then we'll go to Atlanta. Atlanta, and general dentist is gonna be perfect. And just click search. So, Whoa. yeah, we get we 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 got leads here. So. Pages and pages. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what we want to do here, as I said, the, the, the objective is to increase the number of, uh, you know, number of social reviews. So, so with social reviews, I mean reviews on Facebook. So here we can, we can, we can check, check that, you know, on average, uh, dentists in Atlanta have, you know, well north of, uh, you know, 20, 20 reviews. Here, uh, I'm, I'm looking this part where you see stars. This is the average rating is five stars for this particular lead and they have 20 reviews already on, on Facebook. So this one, this one only has five reviews. So what we want to do here, we'll use the advanced filters and uh, we'll select that maximum that we want to get uh, all uh, dentists that have maximum of 20 reviews. Oh, so wow. 20 or below. So you can, you can, you can like pick your perfect target audience for your services. Like if you're used to helping like a particular type of dentist who's, you know, has this certain amount of reviews or low reviews and needs more, you can actually reach out to them and know and filter based on that. That's really cool. Yeah, exactly. This is the point of, 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 of lead presser mm. um, so yeah he, so so for example here here we have uh, now we have leads that you know all those dentists in Atlanta uh, have below uh, 20 to 20 reviews so now what we want to do is we'll create let's we'll import them all so we'll create um, we'll we'll click the import all the results mm -hmm. we'll create a new uh, list Okay. Confirm, and this will move the all those dentists that we selected into my list leads section. So here, when we when we import them, we also kind of unlock them. So and we can we get all all their data, like uh, all their their contact information, like phone number, email, Facebook page, and messenger link. And also here we got. Uh, we got ads so for example uh we know that usually it's much easier to to target businesses that already you know doing some promotion online mm. uh, 
So if they're advertising, for example, on Facebook, then we can, we can sell them, you know, um, we can improve their ads or create ads that uh, go on a bot and then, you know, improve their, uh, you know, customer acquisition cost or anything that, you know, as a, as a bot agency you do. But this gives you an information if they're advertising or not. And this actually gives you a link to the, directly to the, to the page. Oh, you, no way. I was wondering if it did that. <laughs> <laughs> so for example this one doesn't they don't they don't have ads for example mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. for example this this dentist would be perfect to target you know and offer them um you know you know offer something small like starting pack or something that you you know kind of get into the door and then you know expand your offering uh, on bots and uh, more complex uh, chatbots etc Right. So it's, you know, it's this great, efficient, quick way to do research. So we know, because if someone's running ads, then great. We, you know, we know as bot builders that bots are a great conversion tool. So yeah. if they're already running those types of promotions, just like Lucas said, you know, we can turn those, those ads they're running into qualified leads for them. And that can be our offering. And you already have that kind of insight using this system. Yeah. I love how you can click it and be sent to the page. That is like going to cut down so much time for so many people. Yeah. And, and yeah, so each lead you can open. So for example, we also integrated a, a, you know, a light version of CRM here. Because so for example, uh, we saw that this, this particular um, dentist, Dr. Mark Allen, um, you know, he's not advertising. So uh, we'll, we want to kind of, uh, you know, pick, pick Mark as, as a potential target, you know, um, maybe tomorrow. Now we are doing the research, to, tomorrow we'll do the, the outreach. So mm. we just click here, uh, we get all, all the details here, and also a light CRM. So for example, here we can, we can set a status that, uh, you know, um, um, we have to contact him, uh, we have to contact him, let's say, tomorrow. Oh, wow. And uh, some notes, uh, uh, no ads, and save. So this is a good opportunity to, uh, I'm, I, I know we've talked a lot about in the Bot Academy, uh, joint venture partnerships with, you know, ad agencies, for instance. Um, and what you could do is if someone's not running ads, you could even reach out and offer that service and get a referral fee from someone who does run ads or learn ads yourself. If you maybe you're already running ads, um, it could be part of your offering. Correctly, correctly, yeah. And so we, we, so we selected that uh, we have to contact him next week. And then we have, we have the filters here. So we have to, you know, uh, what we have to do today. So for example, uh, we set uh, 26th of uh, February. So this is after tomorrow and we just refresh and here it is. Uh, uh, we, today we'll contact him and you know the rest that we selected. We also have the messenger link here. So we just click here and we are directly in the messenger. Um, okay. Oh man, I love that. <laughs> that is so cool. So yeah, we, we, we can do the, you know, the direct outreach. Or, mm, just a second. So if you guys wanted to make like a really cool, or even just a voice note, you know, I know that in, we were learning some LinkedIn marketing the other day and uh, uh, it was recommended to send voice notes out to people. I think that's such a cool idea. And so this would be such a quick way to line up the types of ideal leads you have, organize them, create a schedule to do outreach, and then, just pop in and send your voice notes or your video demos and this kind of thing um, yeah. directly in Messenger. Exactly. This is this is how we envision this this uh, to work. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and even if you, for example, if you want, if you if you prefer a phone, you can even call them um, or you know text them. We we tried uh, in the past, you know, texting them and it worked, you know, so texting, you know, you have all the, all the available contact, uh, you know, methods yeah. here. It's true, actually. I feel like a lot of, because um, I work with a few chiropractic offices and whenever we have calls, it's always the, the phone on their number on their website 
and they actually are on the road or something like it's their actual cell phone a lot of the time because they're so busy, you know, helping clients and whatnot that they actually end up using their phone as their regular numbers. So that texting is really interesting. I hope yeah. you tried that. Mm -hmm. So um, let me just go here off. So yeah, and then, uh, yeah, and, and now, now here, here you can see that we have a list of Atlanta dentists with less than 20 reviews. And we can, you know, uh, the, the database or the lead press is constantly adding, you know, uh, trying to find new, new potential leads for you. So whenever you do the, you know, uh, repeat the search and get new, new leads, you can uh, later on import them into the same, into the same uh, list of potential leads. Oh and, man. Yeah. That's cool. And, we have, uh, we have just a couple quick questions here, if that's cool, Luca. Yeah, sure. Um, Zering, so Zering, I think when you're asking, can you upload voice notes, I think the idea would be maybe to make a voice recording and then send the file when you click Messenger. Um, do you, does that make sense, Lucas? So, so yeah. the idea to send voice notes, like they would probably have to make a file and then when they click Messenger, they just pop it in and send it, right? It's, it's actually a great idea. I'll, I'll definitely look into it. And also, I mean, maybe, maybe you know, connecting with, um, uh, with some uh, service that uh, allows you to send text message right from the app would be also something right. looked into. Yeah. Okay, cool. And here's one from Randy. He's, he's, he's asking where are you getting the email addresses? Are they coming from Facebook or are they coming from the internet? Uh, like, at the moment they're coming from Facebook. From Facebook. Okay, cool. So, all, all those emails are publicly available on a, on a, on a page. Excellent. Um, oh, here's, here's one more. Um, Nick Julie is asking, is there a way to discern between uh, the information being personal information or business information? Like, is it picking the business pages? Yeah, ju just, ju this is just for business pages. Mm -hmm. So no, no personal profiles. Right. Okay, cool. So, and all, I mean, all the data, we, we want to avoid, you know, doing some uh, shady stuff and everything we get at the moment is from directly from the Facebook's API. So they allow right. everything to, to get. It just, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not easy to get all those data, but everything is there, so. Right, that makes perfect sense. Awesome. Okay, uh, so uh, anyone have any other question regarding the, the, um, uh, this local approach with dentists? It'll just take, I think, the 30 seconds for them to get the question. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, I think was, uh, Fitz is asking if this can be used on the, her cell phone. Uh, as the app, yeah, the app is responsive. So you can, you can use, you can. Oh, so, so this is an app that you can download also? No, 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 it's not app, oh. but a web app. But it's, oh, web app, got it. It's okay, a responsive cool. design, so it works also on mobile. Excellent. Uh, Maybe, maybe, you know, doing with all those uh, tables is not as uh, convenient as doing on, on desktop, but, you mm -hmm. know, it, it works. Excellent. Yeah. Um, what, oh. what is the difference between a search result and a lead credit? Um, yeah. Good question. So, okay. Let, let me just repeat one search and I'll explain. Cool. Um, okay. And so let's go to... And go on. It will just take a while to. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, this is super interesting. Um, just like saves, just like saving time. You know, like time, like especially in outreach, because it can be a bit of a slog. I mean, you would know better than anyone. Uh, you know, it can just be, just bog you down. And I'm sure a lot of people get kind of down because they have to send all these emails and this and that and anything that can save you time and make it as more straightforward to do research is super helpful. So yeah, let me explain with this one, uh, how, how the credits works. So okay. here we did a search in Boston for Italian restaurants. So here we have all the, 
the lead that it uh, the lead press account in in Boston, and here we see that for this particular uh, Facebook page, we have number of fans, uh, number of reviews, average rating. Then we have Facebook page, we have phone number, we have email address, and we have a, a messenger link. So for this one, for this one, we don't have an email. This gives you an indication what kind of leads we found. So you can do pretty much unlimited searches here, but if you want to, oh, you know, if you want to unlock this particular page to get all those details, uh -huh. you spend the credit. So if I just click those three, I will spend three credits to unlock those. Excellent. And then when I when I unlock them, so you're about to import three leads to your list. Uh, let's say test list and confirm. So and now we have those three uh, restaurants here, and we we unlock them. So now we can we can uh, if you see here at the bottom bottom left mm -hmm. hope you can see uh okay or or even if i open the or if i open the the lead uh you see all those details mm. email website uh, phone number messenger link etc so you have to unlock the lead uh, with a credit this is how it works excellent Okay, cool. So you basically you search your list, you sift through what's a perfect fit for you, and then you just compile them onto like this ideal client list, and then that's how the credits are spent. Okay, cool. Correct. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, okay, so let me just jump back to the presentation to the next uh, case study. So the next case study is about you know going global or using email to to do the outreach. I mean, you can you can do that also on a local basis, but just for you know uh, for for the case study, I'm going to use that. Uh, we're going you know abroad. So for example. Uh, here is the case. You you created a, an awesome um, bot template uh, that really increased the um, you know the number of uh, visitors or number of guests in a restaurant. You you try this uh, this bot um, this chat bot template on a on a local scale, and now you're ready to you know to to go global because you know how the restaurants works. You know how to help them. So why why would you you know, stay uh, in your local area if you can go, you know, if you can expand. So uh, we'll target, let, for the case, we'll go to, to the UK, we'll pick the London, we'll select restaurants, and the case is gonna be, you know, bring more, more bring in more customers. Okay, cool. So let's do the search. Let's go to the United Kingdom. Let's go to London and pick uh, uh, which kind of restaurant do. What kind oh. of food do you like? Well, I mean, we're going to London, a little bit of fish and chips wouldn't be so bad. Maybe uh, pubs, <laughs> fish and chip shop, perfect. Okay, I mean, Facebook has so many categories uh, yeah. here, in, here in the resta restaurant space is a bit uh, confused because, you know, you have a restaurant and you have Thai, Indian, Thai, um, you know, Mexican, so many restaurants. So yeah. uh, if you want to, you know, get all the restaurants, you have to do a bit of clicking, but um, we, we plan to, to improve this part. So let's see how many fish and chips shops are in London. Um, Okay, now that <laughs> cool. Cool. they they probably have um you know different name or they're under restaurant. Yeah, it's probably a tough one to search for. I don't know how many people are only targeting fish and chip shops. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe pub. Let's. Oh see. yeah, let's see pub. Pubs need to run promotions too, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um. A free pint when you buy two. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would work in London. I don't know if anybody's ever watched a football match over there, but there are lots of pints involved. So yeah, here we have, you know, 
at the moment it's more than 300. So, mm -hmm. and we, we need emails here. So let's uh, go advanced filters and search with emails. So now, yeah, we have a lot, a lot of email, emails here. And let's, uh, you now we'll go all in and we'll, imp so two ways to import. You can select here, uh, you, can, you can select 25 on this page or you can go all in. So we'll go all in. Amazing. Bob London and confirm. Da, da, da. Okay. So now we have all those, you know, all those pops. We have all those pops with emails here. And, you know, we, we really don't want to send email to each particular uh, pop uh, from our personal email, but we want to use, you know, some smart uh, outreach tool uh, like um, um, Woodpecker or something like that, where we import the emails and we can personalize each, uh, each um, email with some parts that you get from, with some data that you get from, from Litpressa. So for example, here we have Excel or CSV file and we just export them and we'll get all those details that you see here in the, in the file. And then when we, when we import the file into email outreach tool, we can then personalize stuff like, um, like uh, subject, uh, subject uh, in a terms like chat bot for and name of the business question mark. And then in the email, you go, hi, uh, I just recently visit your Facebook page and you insert the name of the Facebook page, which I think it's awesome, et cetera, et cetera. There's one thing that you may be missing and you, know, you introduce the chatbot. You can also use you know, the number of reviews or the number of fans uh, as, a, as a reference point or a location. Uh, everything that you know looks like a, that you really um, took your time and um, check check the, the the business before you send them. This will yeah. this will increase the the reply rates and um, you know. Yeah. So I don't know if um, you know if anybody in the group has done a lot of email outreach. Uh, Luca, I think was talking about services like QuickMail, where you can basically insert an Excel or a CSV file of leads in, and then it will automatically email them all. And but I think to your point, and this is something I definitely align with. The more personal an email you're sending, where you can use like you know personal details about what you think is interesting about the business, why you're reaching out, maybe a personal experience with them or someone similar. Um, the more likely it is that you can actually close that lead. Like I think, you know, a hundred generic emails wouldn't be as effective as 10 personalized emails. Um, I definitely agree with you. But yeah. Yeah. But we, we had some cases like that, that people wanted to do, you know, the mass outreach. And mm. here, for example, if you, uh, if you, uh, if you have really targeted uh, niche and that you, you really have a great or a strong case study uh, that helps similar businesses, I mean, also the a bit more massive outreach can be, can be uh, you know, beneficial for you. And it won't, you know, results as a spam. But mm -hmm. as, as you said, I also encourage, you know, to maybe go a bit more personal and here uh, just click on the email and, you know, copy it and use it in a, you know, one-on-one -on -one communication. It's always better. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like, you know, a big shift to the voice notes and personalized demos and these types of things um, are working a lot better, I'd say. Comment in the group if you have a similar experience. Um, Nick Julia has a quick question here, Luca. Uh, he's, I think you may have answered this, but curious to know if you've tested the an outreach campaign using the software, how responsive are people considering most Facebook page emails are generic emails like customer support? Uh, yeah, good question. Yeah, we did, we did. We, we, we sent quite a, you know, with the outreach, you, you have to remember that sending out one email is not enough. Uh, you know, the follow-up, you know, the follow-up do the thing. So uh, not one, maybe two, three uh, that you can do with a 
autoresponders or uh, that you do you know on per personally mm. and yeah yeah we we test it and um you also have to uh, to know that majority of businesses on facebook are small businesses uh, and the email that even if it's generic even if it's there an info at domain uh the probably the the owner will uh, receive it and will check it mm. right on so so like it's about it's about consistently following up to not expect, you know, one message and you're going to get a reply right away. It's about, you know, sending, you know, three or four or even five or six messages um, to follow up with maybe more information, market data, other, you know, interesting strategies or ideas um, and just kind of getting in that habit. Is that, is that kind of your um, suggestion? Yeah. Suggestion? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, not, not just spamming, you know, but, mm -hmm. you know, using that in a, uh, in a way that uh, the customer benefits, you know, it, uh, that you, you know, maybe give them some, some more information. Even, for example, when you go one-on-one, -on -one, then you can, um, you can check their website, their Facebook page, and then, you know, give them suggestion how they can improve ads or how they can improve, uh, you know, reply rate if they have a bad uh, reply rate, um, on, in a messenger or something, you know, so, something, something useful that and actionable that they can do even on, on their own. But you know, the point is that you have to gain trust. Oh, I love that because when we think about building a bot, I mean, what is a bot? It's a conversion tool to help teach, build trust and sell. So in the same way that we do that for our, our clients, you know, to, to maybe adopt that mindset of building trust in your outreach. I really like that. Yeah, I, I saw one question here uh, that the London is, uh, is a bit too big, uh, too large city. Yeah, at the moment we are improving uh, the, the, the reach of, uh, um, of the number of, uh, of leads that we can get in larger cities. Currently you will get much better results if you go really local compared to the compared to the for example london or going to new york but uh we found a way to improve that you know in a in a in a last week and the res results that we are seeing are you know insane <laughs> I so, love like, we, we get 20 times more leads that we, we we got you know last week so wow that's a big jump in a week yeah, so and I think we can still improve that. I mean, it's cool. um, at the moment we have you know a lot of leads here, but the the, the number will grow because you know new businesses come and you will have always fresh leads here in the lead press. So this is the 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 point. Yeah, amazing. Um, here's one. I'm I'm not quite following it, but potentially you might. Um, so so Zering is asking. This search was for get more customers, and compared to the last search you did, um, how does that change from from this search to the last search? Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe th this was just uh, I was showing the the objective of uh, of uh, oh, I see. so right, right. so here the here. Here you want to sell them a bot for bringing more agencies. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, for bringing more customers. This is gotcha. this is what you offer, uh, and uh, and the one that I showed before was increased social reviews. And here we used the the re reviews and rating part of the lead press. Ah, uh, gotcha. So that's just simply our mission our objective, where yeah. you know what we do for different companies. Gotcha. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Excellent. And how, and how you can do it with mm -hmm. press, with the help of press. Yeah. Excellent. Great. Um, so yeah, um, let let's move forward. Um, uh, yeah, going smart. The the third case study. Here is what we already have here that is smart. <laughs> so yeah, uh, using some of the Litpresso insights that helped you sell. So as I as I mentioned before, we don't want to just give you you know, a bunch of leads, 
a list of businesses, but uh, we want to give you right lists so that you can, you know, you can adapt the message uh, and you can uh, be more successful in uh, acquiring them. So one, one, uh, one, um, I think is that we have, uh, as I already show, the the advertiser link here uh, directly in the in the CRM where you can where you can see if they have ads or not. Uh, this is definitely one of the a strong thing to to have because or you know a time saver. Uh, you know, you could do that everything with a, you know, face, go on a Facebook page and then click ads, but you know, it's much easier doing this, this with just one click. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, one thing that we are currently working on is to, uh, get uh, data if a page has, uh, if a page installed a welcome bot on their website. Oh wow! So so like a like a bot existing in Messenger, it'll it you'll be able to kind of determine if they have a bot already. If they have a yeah, if they have you know so for example, this would allow you to you know this is a simple thing that you can set up on a website, uh, and it's, it's not you know time consuming tasks task for uh, for uh, for you as an agency, but it can be a great uh, great uh, way of you know. Um, uh, a great way of starting a relationship with a business. So you give them an idea how that they can do that, or that you can do that for them, you know, for for free if you want, or you know, for a couple of bucks. And this is a way how you can uh, convince them to start working with you. You, you do you do you do a simple task, uh, and then you know move forward from from this. Uh, and you know, when we'll have a data, you, it will be so easy for you to know you know, just to contact those that don't have something like that on a website and, you know, offer this, you know, mini service uh, for as a starter, let's say. So when you, I just want to make sure I'm 100% understand. So when you say bot on the website, is it checking their website or just their, fa basically their Facebook inbox, like their Facebook page? It will check in the API how they have to configure that. Like the Facebook API? Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Okay, cool. Um, Derek is asking, can you send group messages to the businesses, um, through messenger? Um, oh. like, like, can you, can you, uh, my understanding of this is to find the leads, not necessarily to like, uh, to help send the messages. So, so Derek is asking, can lead espresso help send group messages to the, to businesses on messenger? No, 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 no. Yeah. This will, you know, it just gives you the list of businesses that you list. can, that you can, uh, if we would send group messages and it's also not good, I mean, it's not recommended even for you if you're doing, you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one that you send, I don't know, 20 messages in, a, you know, in a short period of time because Facebook will block you. Uh, True. You, not, not permanently, but, you know, for maybe a day, they will block you and then you, you can continue. So that's why it's important for you to, to, to go in a small batches here. Yeah, you know, that's really interesting. I actually remember we did a broadcast or we did a Facebook comment opt-in one time and it didn't work for whatever reason. And that, that's just basically a bot uh, technique. And so we had to go and individually message everybody this link that they wanted. And Facebook actually suspended our ability to reach out to businesses. So that sounds like exactly what you're talking about. So yeah, that, that uh, it sounds like a really good recommendation. Yeah, this is also why I, uh, the, the, the case that I give is that when you do the, the outreach, um, you know, on a, through Messenger, go, go local or go, you know, in a small batches. Not, you cannot do that in mass because, you know, Facebook will block you. <laughs> yeah. And you speaking, speaking of Facebook common often problems, uh, I know many uh -huh. chat. <laughs> I know many chat has had a few uh, bugs the last few days. I actually talked to their uh, head of their agency program yesterday about it. Um, and uh, so if everybody would just uh, make sure they follow the post to get notified when the recording's ready, um, uh, then you'll be able to get that recording. Okay, awesome. Uh, All right. Okay. So, and the, 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 the last one is that, may, may, I mean, here we are talking about, you know, bot agencies, but, uh, 
probably a lot of uh, agencies that are building chatbots are also a regular agency or were a regular agency before. Mm -hmm. So uh, here is one little tweak uh, that we are implementing uh, in a Litpressa is one feature that you can see here uh, right on the right on the left side of the search bar is a toggle button that you will you will it will able you to select the leads that don't have a website so uh, they're on facebook they're already doing the promotion you know they, they want to do something uh, but they don't have a website so this is one way you know as a, if you build websites you can toggle here uh, without website and it will give you all the leads that uh, you know are active on facebook but don't have a website so uh, interesting. So, so what would be a use case? Like, I'm just trying to think like if I'm an agency, maybe if I want to know, okay, they don't have a website that could be something to offer for instance, or upsell, mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, that because they don't have a website that you, they really focus on the Facebook platform to generate mm -hmm. business yeah. and that it's like, especially important to them and, and maybe more, more open to bots, for instance, even, um, yeah. Just yeah. riffing a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, a, it's a good, good, uh, good idea that you, you just mentioned. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Because yeah, we um, we got some feedbacks. You know, when we did the outreach uh, before, before, you know, testing how the leads works uh, for different clients, and uh, uh, yeah, just, just just to comment on that uh, that uh, question uh, that we had before. Uh, sending to those emails uh, and doing, you know, the the with the follow-ups, it gives it gives us, you know, sixty to seventy percent open rates with the follow-ups. Uh, so you know, combined, maybe maybe a person won't open the first uh, first email, but they will probably open the third one. So oh, interesting. As a campaign, it gives you, you know, it gives us, you know, a large, you know, high amount of open rates. And uh, then, you know, the replies are, this, this is the part that you have to work on. Mm -hmm. you know, if, mm -hmm. if you are offering something, you know, useful and something um, good for them, then of course they will reply. Otherwise, you know, but, but uh, in terms of the, the emails, the quality of emails, it's definitely good. You can't hide from offering a compelling service there, gang. <laughs> have to be compelling, have to be making it happen. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you cannot, you know, sell yeah. ice to, to a ski. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, this is basically it, how the, how the, the platform works uh the the i hope i give you a nice overview mm -hmm. uh, i'm uh, happy to answer any question that uh you might have uh and here is uh one important thing uh here on the bottom of the of the page and i i also think the marcella also posted in the into the into the chat uh there's a link get.litpressa.com slash ba minus 25 this will give you 25 free leads if you sign up uh, through this uh, this link and maybe even more important thing is on the next slide so Ooh. we have a special offer for you guys because uh, you know the the andrew and uh, steven and maricela and all the you know uh, um, bot academy community was so uh, you know helpful with us we decided to give you a 50% lifetime discount on litpressa if you use bot50 code uh, you have to sign up you just use the the link uh, below sign up and then uh, go to pricing and you know use the code and upgrade and you know enjoy the benefits uh, of selling more for less money <laughs> man that's awesome that's super generous gang so that you got not only do you have an opportunity to test the platform out with 25 leads but you also have the opportunity to get a halftime discount for life um once you get to try out the leads and you know have fun with it and play with it um that's awesome luca thank you yeah um yeah <laughs> we are we are getting a few um other questions here um this is a good one actually heike uh, uh ziegler is asking um is the platform gdpr compliant 
uh, GDPR compliant, you know, majority of those emails that you, that are, as I, as I mentioned before, the emails that are on the, on the Facebook, these are only business pages. So they put the, the, the email there as a, you know, for, for business purpose. Mm -hmm. So uh, when it comes to GDPR, you can always send emails to any email that is, uh, you know, business related. Also, uh, you can send, you know, messenger link, I mean, messenger message via messenger and you are still, you know, uh, um, still um, GDPR compliant if you are, you know, not spamming. Right. You know, the GDPR thing is also the, uh, you know, if you, if you are sending something that a business can benefit from, it's, it's no harm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's like, you know, we're not, you know, in some obscure nation asking for a donation or asking for them to pay for college, you know, we're, we're sending them value and it's, it's value first. And with that mindset, it should all be good. Yeah, and also as we talked before, you know, uh, like you are doing in a in a chatbot uh, when you are building a chatbot, you you want to communicate, and this is also how you want to, you know, start a conversation with a uh, with a potential business. If you just go, you know, also when you go to a, you know first date, you don't you know bring the the ring out and ask. You know? <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, go slowly and, uh, you know, give, give benefits on every, uh, every interaction you do with a, with a potential prospect. Mm -hmm. Also, um, you know, value videos are, are great. Uh, here in LitPress, so you get, you know, the contacts. You, 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 it's so easy for you to, you know, check the website, check the ads, check the, the Facebook page. It gives you an uh, overview of a business. And, uh, you know, when when you are selling something that you are good about, you, you know, for, you know, for triggers to see, uh, on a potential, um, on a potential, uh, uh, lead, uh, that what can you improve there? So, uh, it gives, you know, quick, quick, uh, quick access to check everything and then maybe prepare, uh, you know, uh, a loom video, you know, uh, some value video, create, uh, you know, um, Record yourself, record the, the screen that you're on their Facebook page and you're, you know, checking their ads and how they can improve that and how, how they could improve that using a chatbot, um, how they would increase conversion. And, you know, doing this and, you know, providing value when you sell, it's definitely a, a good way to do it and, you know, probably the only way to be successful. And if you do the, if you do that, I, I don't see any problems, you know, being uh, um, in any problem with the with the with the GDPR or anything else. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, so Tevin's asking. So lifetime. So the price will rate remain re basically remain the same when people renew their accounts and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Lifetime discount. So. Awesome. And. Um, okay. Cool. Um, Gerard is having, Gerard, can you be more specific with, um, your problem signing up? Uh, let us know and we can try to help you out. Awesome guys. So yeah, check out the 25 leads everyone and use your discount code. And, uh, I'm really, really excited to see, uh, the feedback from the group on how the, the success they're having. We could maybe even, you know, Maybe we'll do some recordings using Lead Espresso and uh, and and find really good ways to use it effectively. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to. I'd love to create a new. I mean, I'd love to interact with uh, with anyone using Lead Espresso and you know help you you know get the most out of it. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, guys. I'm just gonna jump in again here. Um, just as a reminder, our common growth tool didn't work. I'm not sure why, but it seems to be a uh, constant <laughs> thing happening um, from the mini chat community. <laughs> so um, just make sure you hit follow um, for the Bot Academy page because I'm going to post once we get the video edited and, and um, cut down. I'll uh, post it and you'll be able to access the recording that way. And um, also for our 
students, our, our current Bot Academy students, don't forget to look for the link uh, on your course dashboard to redeem the deal that's just um, 750 free leads. So, I, so um, I, I see that there, there, there might be a problem with the, with the Facebook login. Um, if you if you have any problems, uh, just you can you can send me an email to Luca at litpressa.com uh, so you don't miss the the link and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, uh, figure it out. Okay. Uh, help you. Yeah. And, to... and if you don't remember that email, just always email Bot Academy. We'll help you out too. Hi at botacademy.com. Just gonna type those in the chat here. Luca at leadspresso.com. Uh, without S, lead presso. Yeah, lead presso. Perfect. Yeah. Hi at botacademy.com. All right, guys. So if you email those two, um, you can get the help to make sure you can sign in through Facebook. Great. Okay. Well, I appreciate you um, walking us through this platform, Luca. This sounds really, really awesome. I'm excited to see how people's results are going to be. And thank you, Stephen, for asking all the, the big questions. I appreciate <laughs> you handling the, the whole session. So thanks Cheers. to both of you guys. We're going to sign off. And if you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to email our team, hi at botacademy.com. All right. I'll see you. Bye, everyone. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Luca. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.